Hey everybody, welcome to Cut Transform Glue. In this week's video, we are going to continue the build of this humanoid repair robot. I am going to show you guys how I made each segment of the arms, the legs, as well as the joints for it. Let me begin by showing you guys how I make the arm and the forearm and the elbows for this robot. Now on the last video I showed you guys my concept art that I made for this robot and as I always do I almost never 100% follow it. So I end up with something that looks quite similar but not exactly as the concept art. So I begin this part of the process by throwing some Lego pieces together and these Lego pieces are not only useful because of its shape but they are also great to keep me parallel when I start gluing MDF pieces and some styrene. Now that I have the first segment of the arm shaped, I can add some styrene and MDF laser cut pieces. And as you can see, sometimes it happens that I have the exact piece that I need on my MDF collection, but sometimes I have to do these pieces with some styrene, so it's kind of a job of seeking and reaching for pieces or making my own at the moment. Now I will show you guys how I made its elbow and how I tried to make it possible. For this piece specifically I had a um, great collection of acrylic shapes that were also laser cut. So I begin by gluing these pieces together to try to create an axis. And for this thing to work out I had to have multiple pieces that were in the same size so this is why I always go to the laser cut with multiples of the very same piece on the same measurement then I had to make a hole on one side and in the other I glue this piece of acrylic to create an axis This only covered one type of movement, so I glued tabs on each of the pieces to create the movement on the other direction. I glued the part that would connect to the axis on the arm. Then I drop this tiny acrylic circle. I added a tiny drop of CA glue on it and then I just had to catch it with the elbow piece.
and then I move down to the forearm and again to make my life easier I use these Lego pieces as the base for them And as I did on the arm, I glued this acrylic disc on the back of the forearm to create the axis for the elbow. And I want to say here that I'm not trying to make a joint that is movable. I just want some freedom to pose the model after I paint it. So this is not a joint that will be fully movable after the robot is done. Not to mention that after this is done, this will look more realistic. So now that I have the arms and the elbows done, I'll just lay them on the cutting mat to check the proportions and see if it's looking good. And by doing that I can kinda determine the size of the legs. So now let me show you how I made these legs. I'll begin by creating the surface that will connect to the axis on the waist. So this is what the semicircle is. And once I had four of those, I just grabbed this Lego piece to start forming the tie. And I gotta say that the bond on CA glue between MDF, acrylic or ABS plastic is very strong. So these pieces are turning out very solid. I kinda wanted most of the weight of the leg on the front, well at least at the first segment and this is why this first part of the leg is oddly shaped. So in a way I'm kinda extrapolating what happens on the human body if you take a strong and muscled individual as a reference. I want to take this moment to invite you guys to really consider subscribing to the channel. This is very important because it signals YouTube that my content is relevant. Also, if you like the video, hit the like button because this helps a lot. If you want to go one step further and support the channel by donating, I have a coffee account. The link is on the description box. If you can't do this now, no big deal. I know these are tough times. Just stick around. There's much more to come here. And once again, as I did throughout all the process, I'm always laying the things on the cutting mat and checking the proportions. And then I added some hydraulic structures to the leg. Mm -hmm. 
now in the bottom section of the leg I kind of wanted the weight to be thrown back as in the muscles of the lower leg so the knees of the robot is in an angle kind of throwing the leg inside and I use this MDF laser cut pieces that kind of resembles the calf muscles I also added some structures to the lower leg And then I checked one last time the overall shape of the robot, the weight distribution and the size of the limbs and it kind of looked okay to me so I moved on to making the feet. But before I did that I felt that the lower leg was too thin, too slender so I started adding some more structure to it. And I had this MDF angled pieces here for quite some time and it turns out they kind of fit perfectly the lower leg and as you can see these MDF pieces had these huge holes so I'll cover them using these plastic things that I believe are from clothes Now if there's one joint that is crucial to the balance of the robot that is the ankle joint so I'll create the axis on the leg and then I'll create the pieces that go between the feet and the legs. So this axis allow me to do this type of movement, now I gotta create the piece to connect to the feet. Now I kind of want to like make a mental note for myself here that I really need to develop some type of joint system that, I, that can be molded and then casted because it is really boring to create these pieces every time I need to make movement in my robots. As for the feet of this robot, I kind of just went on my box and grabbed some random pieces and I kind of just glued them together and I'm not quite happy with the end result so I'm gonna rework that on the future in the next video in the detailing sessions. So this is how they turned out, quite simple and to be honest they are more like placeholders for now. And this concludes this build video. Of course I wanted this robot to be standing up as the end of this video but I got no pieces to make the joints for the legs and the arms so I gotta work on that to have that for you guys on the next one. I find that the shapes of the arms and the legs are 
really good and I'm quite pleased with how the elbow turns out. The arms look long and quite strong to be holding repair tools of course since this is a repair unit. But I really feel that I should put more work on the legs, specifically on the lower part that to me looks like a weak spot of the robot for now. But this is it for this video guys. I hope that you guys liked what you saw and if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.